Kirtan. How are you all? I hope you are happy and healthy and studying also. As you all know, we are revising our books. We are preparing for exam. And we have completed yesterday our elementary reader book, The Pact with the Sun, chapter number 1 to 6. Today, we are going to start Honeysuckle book, first chapter, Who Did Patrick's Homework? So first of all, we will read the chapter and I will explain again, once again and we will discuss some difficult words or new words and then we will discuss question and answers and exercises which are given in this chapter. So let's start children. Take out your book, Honeysuckle book, chapter number one, Who did Patrick's homework? As you know children, this is a wonderful story which has presented magical realism, which means something that is not magic but a belief in a beautiful manner. A boy Patrick who gets inspired and feels propelled to work hard by an imaginary elf or you can say a supernatural being. He is not only able to complete his work rather scores high grades. This story conveys the message that self-help works wonder and it is very helpful for you in your examination also. So self-help always give you wonders in your life. So let's start the story. Patrick never did homework. Too boring. He said he played hockey and basketball and Nintendo instead. His teachers told him, Patrick, do you homework or you won't learn a thing. And it's true. Sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus, but what could he do? He hated homework. Now in first paragraph, you can see two word meanings, which you can see in this um, pink column that is Nintendo or video game and ignoramus. Ignoramus means important, an important person who lacks education. So that is called ignoramus. So let's start. I am going to explain the first paragraph. Patrick never did his homework because he found it boring. Instead, he played outdoor games like hockey, basketball. He also liked to play video games like Nintendo. His teacher warned him complete his work. Otherwise, he won't be able to learn anything. So, that is a very common thing. If he is not studying well, so how he can improve? So, his teacher warned him to complete his work, otherwise he won't be able to learn anything. It was a fact because at time, he used to feel like an ignorant person, illiterate person, who was completely helpless in this regard. He had no interest in his studies and homework. That was a very big question for him. And the teacher were also worried about him. Now we are moving to second paragraph. Then one day he found his cat playing with the little doll and he grabbed it away. To his surprise, it wasn't a doll at all, but a man of the tiny size. He had a little wool shirt with old fashioned breeches and a high tall hat, much like a witch's. He yelled, save me, don't give me back to that cat. 
I will grant you a wish. I promise you that. Here you can see. Breaches means in the pink column you can see. Breaches means breeches or short trousers. The writer here spells it for fun to rhyme with the word witch. Now we are going to learn about this. What is inside this second paragraph? Now here you can see a new word is grabbed. Grabbed means caught. And tiniest means smallest. So in second paragraph you can find grabbed. Grabbed means grabbed you can see. Grabbed means caught. And next word, I'll tell you. Okay, children. So, now, one day he observed his cat playing with the doll and was surprised to find that it wasn't a doll. Rather, it was a man of the smallest size. It was wearing a woolen shirt with an old-fashioned trouser and a tall hat which made him look like a witch. It was a very tall hat. That is why it was looking like a witch. The doll cried and requested Patrick to save him and not to send him back to the cat. In return, the doll promised Patrick to fulfill his wish. That was the promise he had done that day. So, here you can see the next new word is tiniest. Tiniest means smallest. You can write down. Now we are moving to third paragraph. Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. Here was the answer to all of his problems. So he said, only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester, that's 35 days. If you do a good enough job, I could even get A's. Now, very smartly, Patrick done this work. And he, what he done? Let's see what he done. It was difficult for Patrick to accept that he was so fortunate to get an answer or solution to all his difficulty through his, this tiny man. So he asked him if he could do his homework till the end of the semester, that is the period of 35 days, to help him score A grade. So Patrick was thinking that with Elf's help, he can improve his grades because he was a very lazy boy. He did not want to do any work. That is why. He was very happy and was just, he was given a, he was taken a chance and he was just play the game. Now here you can see in the fourth paragraph, the little man's face wrinkled like dishcloth, thrown in the hamper. He kicked his leg and doubled his fist and grimaced and scolded and pursed his lips. Oh, am I cursed? But I'll do it because he had done the promise. Now here you can see dish cloth means a cloth used for washing dishes. You can see in the in this uh, pink column hamper means a basket with a lid. Grimaced means scowled. So these are the word meaning you can write down. Now after that you can say the challenge that Patrick had given. The little man's face wrinkled like a dishcloth. 
it means after hearing this the little man face gave a look of cloth lying in the basket used for washing dishes he showed his disapproval for the work by kicking legs and doubling his fist and making an happy faces because he was totally disturbed he asked if he was that unfortunate to do that task but he promised to do the work that is why he was born with that promise unknowingly the elf has done mistake now we are moving to number 5 and true to his word the little elf began to do patrick's homework except there was one glitch the elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help help me help me he'd say and patrick would have to help because in the whatever way i don't know this word the elf squeaked while reading patrick's homework get me a dictionary no what's even better look up the verb word and sound it out by each letter so here you can see the elf was illiterate he did not know anything so he wanted that patrick always ready to help him now in this word true to his word it means he was just kept the promise that is why he was working and keeping his word the elf supernatural creature started doing his homework but sometimes he needed help as he didn't know all the things then patrick had to help him sometimes while reading patrick's homework the elf would say crying aloud that he doesn't know the meaning of that word so give him a dictionary or something that can help him to identify the sound of each letter as well as word also because the elf did not know this anything now we are moving to paragraph number 6 now here you can see the next turn is maths when it came to maths patrick was out of luck what are time tables the elf shrieked the elves never need that and addition and subtraction and division and fractions here sit down beside me you simply must guide me elves know nothing of human history to them it's a mystery so the little elf already a shouter just got louder go to the library i need books more and more books and you can help me read them too so here elf was a starting starting of or giving order so the elf knew nothing of maths all concepts of maths were completely strange or odd things for him patrick was unfortunate in this matter the elf explained that elves never needed mathematically concept like addition subtraction division and fractions a very unknown about these concepts so patrick had to sit next to him to guide that was very important because he did not know anything even he did not know anything of the human history it was completely strange to him does he screamed at him to visit the library get him more books and more him to read as well so it is very important to go and read the book because without reading books he could not understand what is written inside your textbook so 
we are moving to the seventh paragraph as a matter of fact every day in every way that little elf was a nag patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag he was staying up nights had never felt so weary was going to school with his eyes puffed and blurry now here you can see drag means an informal word something dull and uninteresting and nag means one who troubles someone to all the time by complaining or asking them to do something slyly means secretively now here we are in paragraph number 7 now in this paragraph you can find the little creature were either tr troubling complaining or asking patrick to do something or the other all the time the patrick was not able to sleep and was awake for nights together he had never felt so tired before and was going to school was his dull looking eyes so because he couldn't sleep all the night because the elf was pleaded to sit beside him and always they are working together so now we are moving to paragraph number 8 finally the last day of school arrived and the school was free to go as for homework there was no more so he quietly and slyly slipped out the back door now here you can see the last day was there finally it was the last day of the school and the elf had complete freedom to go as there was no homework to do so without speaking anything without doing anything in a very secretive manner he moved out from the back door that was a very tragic also because he was doing continuously his job with the patrick but very secretively manner he just moved now we are moving to number 9 patrick got this his a's his classmates were amazed his teachers smiled and were full of praise and his parents they wondered what had happened to patrick he was now the model kid cleaned his room did his school chorus was cheerful never rude like he had developed a whole new attitude now that was a transformation of that kid patrick now here you can see patrick score a grade his classmates were surprised teacher were full of appreciation and parents were trying to know what made him so perfect what had happened to him he became an exclamatory child who cleaned his room himself did all his work became a happy child who was never rude and developed a complete new self and look the new transformation his parent was also seen and the teacher were amazed children were amazed to see a new patrick now we are moving to the 10th paragraph you see in the end patrick is still thought he made that tiny man do all his work but i'll share a secret just between you and me it wasn't the elf patrick had done it himself now here carol mure said that here is the secret it the secret between you and me the reader and the writer the secret is elf did not do anything but 
the Patrick himself done this. So, from this story, you can learn that if you want to do anything, you can do. Nothing is impossible. If you work hard, you can get success. So, always believe in hard work. Know any short key or know any short ways, shortcuts of success. Only working hard with the honesty and devotion, you can get success. So, each and every child, child those who are listening this story, the message from Carol, the writer, that Always choose the path of hard work. So, you never believe in any uh, Jyotish or any uh, fate tellers. Only believe future tellers, those who are uh, telling your future, your future in your hands. If you are working hard, you will get a very bright and you can say very bright future you can get. So children always ready to work hard. Without hard work you cannot achieve success. So this is the main motto of Carol Moray. So let's move to the exercises which are given in this chapter. So children, please see. First question, what did Patrick did? Patrick think his cat was playing with. What was it really? Patrick thought that it was a doll that his cat was playing with. But in reality, it was a way small sized man known as elf. The second question, why did the little man grant Patrick wish? The elf granted Patrick a wish because he was saved his life from Patrick's pet cat. What was Patrick wish? Patrick was a lazy boy who avoided studying and did not like to do his homework. So he wished that the elf would do all his homework till the end of the session. Now fourth question. In what subject did the little man need help to do Patrick's homework? The answer is the little man was unknown to all the subjects in Patrick's course. Maths, English and History being some of the subjects and needed help in all of them. So you just write down or take a screenshot. First, second, third and fourth. Now we are fifth question is how did Patrick help him? The elf being unknown to all subjects asked Patrick to get books from the library to read it out to him word by word. In this way Patrick guided him to do his own homework which was done by the elf. Now here you can see Question number six, who do you think did Patrick's homework? The little man or Patrick himself? Give reasons for your answer. Answer you can find in the last paragraph where the Carol, the writer already told you. It was a Patrick who did all the homework. It was actually him who guided the elf in every assignment. So here you can see these two questions, fifth and sixth, you can do 
and take a screenshot also. Now we are moving to working with language. This is fill in the blanks and we have to write down the correct phrase inside the blanks. So first of all, some people find household bore but I like to help at home. Now here you can write chorus. Household chorus. In second, who stole the diamond? It is still a mystery. This dash we are going to have a class exhibition. This semester. This semester for this true to his friend. True to his word, sorry. For this true to his word. And next is look up. Look up and in 6 you are going to write out of luck. Out of luck. So write down out of luck. And in the next 7 between you and me. between you and me. So she says she got a lot of books but between you and me I think most of them are borrowed. So this way you can complete this exercise. Now we are moving to next. This is puzzle. Use the clues given below Complete the crossword puzzle. Now here we can see. First of all, across and down. So across very tired. And down is. So we are going to write very tired. What is the meaning of very tired? So we will write very Weary, hand and angry look on the face. So this is scald. Short trousers means breeches. Bridges. Now a fault in the machine that prevents it from working properly. So that is glitch. Glitch. And next is a small and naughty boy fairy elf. So complete this. Now the next part is a speaking part in this story. Patrick does difficult things he hates to do because in the elf pretends he needs help. Have you ever done something difficult or frightening by pretending about it in the some way? Tell your classmates about it. So these are the your speaking. Now Writing. This story has a lot of rhyming words as a poem does. Can you write out some part of like a poem? So 
that the rhyme come at the end of the separate line because you have seen in this uh, chapter there are so many lines which is written in the rhyming tone so patrick never did homework too boring he said he played ba baseball and hockey and nintendo instead now here you can see you can write some rhyming uh, words or some rhyming uh, in a tone you can write to surprise it wasn't a doll at all to had a little wool shirt with old fashioned breeches and high tall hat much like a witch's don't give me back to that cat i will grant you wish i'll promise you that so these type of the things you can write as a so we are moving to the b b exercise look at the sentence too boring he said cleaned his room did he chorus when he, we speak we often leave out words that can easily be guessed we do not do this when we write unless we are trying to write as we speak as in the story so so if we were to write carefully he would say homework is too boring he said he cleaned his room and his and did his chorus so rewrite the following incomplete sentences carefully so that the reader does not have to guess what is left out more and more books too difficult got up late missed the bus solved the mystery now here you can see the elf you can write more and more books the elf asks for more and more books to read and complete the work too difficult you can write the puzzle is too difficult to solve got up late missed the bus patrick got up late and missed the bus solved the mystery patrick solved the mystery and scored a a great so this is a cartoon which is drawn by r k narayan a famous cartoonist so what is it about do you think it is funny if so why do you think is a cartoon is a serious drawing why or why are not so it is depend on your thinking you can do this by yourself